Well, hello guys, it's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope that you are doing well. What we are going to do today, guys, we are going to make a quick, easy, and fun recipe. We are going to make some homemade Cracker Jacks. That's what we're going to do today. This is a recipe that I'm sure you're going to love. I've loved Cracker Jacks ever since I was a kid. And since this football season, this is something that you can serve your guests when they come over to watch the game. Now in front of me, I have some popcorn that I popped in my popcorn maker. I have a cup of brown sugar, and that's the dark brown sugar. I have some planter's peanuts. I have some baking soda and some um, corn syrup. In this cup, I have a half a cup of that corn syrup. I have two sticks of butter, which makes one cup of butter. I have a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and I have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So what I'm going to do, guys, we're going to go over to the stove, and we're going to make this caramel to pour over the popcorn and add the nuts. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're over at the stove. Now, as you see in the saucepan, I have the two sticks of butter, and I'm going to melt this off. Then we are going to add our sugar. This is a quick and easy recipe, guys, and it's delicious. I remember going to the stadium last year to see a game, and I went to the concession stand to buy some Cracker Jacks, and they had the bag of Cracker Jacks, and it wasn't a big bag. It looked like it was about a 10 or 12 ounce bag. And they wanted like $5.95. And I was like, oh no. I told the guy, I said, me and Jack go way back, and I'm not about to pay, to pay that much for some Cracker Jacks. It was ridiculous. So I decided to make my own. And I've made this before, so... It's really delicious, guys. Now, the butter's melting. It's not melted all the way, but it's still melting. And then we're going to add our sugar. Okay, it's about melted. Now let's add that brown sugar. Put it in like this because I don't want it to flop. There we go. Okay. We're going to add this in with the butter. And I'm going to add the syrup, the corn syrup. Okay. That's nice and thick. Okay, let me see if I can get most of it out of here. There we go. Stir it around. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to let this cook down for a few minutes, for about five or six minutes. There's still a lot of corn syrup up in here. There we go. This stuff just likes to glue to the measuring cup. There we go. Okay. Now let's get this stirred in here. And we're going to make our caramel sauce. That's what we're doing now. This is really delicious, guys. So let this cook down for about five minutes. What you want it to do is um, cook until it blends with the sugar, the butter, and the syrup. So just let it go on medium high. Is that what I got it on? Yeah. Okay. Just let it go for about five or six minutes. Okay, guys, it has been going for five minutes. And look at this caramel sauce, guys. Look at that. Now what I'm going to do now is add the two teaspoons of vanilla. And we're going to let this go for about another minute or two. And that's it. Oh, it smells so good, guys. So I'm going to let this go two more minutes. And what you want to do um, when, on the first five minutes, 
just stir it for a little bit until it's all incorporated and then just let it go. You don't have to stir it anymore until it bubbles just like it is now. Look at that. But you'll stir it again once you add the vanilla like I'm doing now. Now I'm going to let it go for another minute or two and then we're done. Okay guys, I let it go for two more minutes. I'm turning the heat off. And now we are going to drizzle in that baking soda. Okay. Here we go. Mmm, yum. You should smell this caramel sauce, guys. And see how it foamed up from the baking soda? That's what you want. It makes the caramel sauce a little lighter, too. So now, we're going to go over here and pour it on our popcorn. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, let's pour some of this caramel over this popcorn. Mmm, yum. Look at that. And we're going to blend it in, mix it in real quick. Okay. Oh, you should smell this, guys. This is ridiculous. Mmm. Okay. I got this fork because I can get down in here. I've got so much popcorn. But what I'm going to end up doing is pouring this out on a sheet pan. Okay. Mmm, yum. Oh, and you can smell that butter and that caramel. It's delicious. Yeah, I'm going to pour this out now. And I have a sheet pan here with some parchment paper. And that way I can get all of the popcorn on the bottom. Look at this, guys. Okay, parchment paper's moving. Okay. Let me set that over there for a minute. I didn't know I had that much popcorn. <laughs> My popcorn popper, that's the um, bowl for it, and it pops a lot. Okay. Okay, popcorn's going everywhere. All righty. Now what I'm going to do just pour some more caramel sauce. It makes a lot, guys. And now I'm going to mix these peanuts in there. Okay. Just sprinkle them over. Mmm, yeah. I can't wait to eat these once it cools off. Okay. I don't think I'm going to add that last little bit of popcorn because this is a lot. All right, here we go. See how it's coming together? Mmm. I can't wait. Now it's starting to look good. You just have to blend it until it all incorporates when all the kernels are covered. I'm going to make some popcorn balls, too, for Halloween for the kiddos. Because I got grandbabies and they'll be over and they love my popcorn balls. Okay, I'll put a little bit more peanuts. And add the rest of that caramel sauce. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mmm, yep. Let's put it all around here. Okay. I think I got it all. I like using this fork to do this because um, using a spoon, it goes and sticks all up in the spoon and it don't in a fork. That's why I have a fork. Okay, but you'll find your way of doing it, your method. Okay, guys, look at our delicious popcorn. 
Now what I'm going to do is pop this in the oven at 200 degrees and I'm going to let this um, just cook in there for like 20 minutes. It's on 200 and then that way the caramel will really caramelize on the popcorn and the popcorn will crisp up. So I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Okay guys, I just took our popcorn out of the oven. Um, I left it in there for 10 minutes on 200. Then I stirred the popcorn around, flipped it over, and I put it back in there for the other 10 minutes. And look at it guys. So, I'm going to let this cool down for about 15 minutes, and we're going to see how it tastes. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and look at our beautiful Cracker Jacks. Look at how nice and caramelized this is. Look at that. So, let's give it a taste. Mmm. And the popcorn's still nice and firm and crispy. That's why I put it in the oven. Mmm. This is really good, guys. And that caramel that's on there, it's nice and buttery. It's really delicious, guys. You have to try this recipe for yourself. Go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And you'll be notified of all the recipes that I've done. Mmm. I can't quit eating this. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. You can see a peanut there. Mm. Really good, guys. So, this is Flavors with a Twist version of Cracker Jacks. Try this recipe. You have to. The games are coming on. Halloween's coming up. <laughs> All kinds of things will be happening. And this is a great recipe to serve to your family, friends. So, this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.